Are you satisfied with your career? Do you know how to achieve excellence in your career? Give me a few minutes that I share with you the three pillars of career excellence that when you build upon them, you will achieve excellence in what you are doing. Hello, my name is Kamran Akbarzadeh, founder of Dream Achievers Academy and author of award-winning books, Leadership Soup and Get What You Want. Thank you so much for watching this video on career excellence. And today I want to uh, talk about the three pillars of career excellence. You know, over the past several years that I worked in a uh, few companies in corporate world, um, uh, I've talked to employees, I've observed managers, um, and I've been a team lead, I've been program lead, I've been project manager, um, and I, I have also talked to people from other organizations, other companies, um, that in conferences, in trainings, I've talked to business owners, uh, I have coached uh, people from different organizations, I have mentored some people who were business owners but used to work in companies, um, and I have really gathered lots of experience and ideas around what makes someone excellent or what, what helps someone to achieve excellence in their careers. And I boiled that down to three pillars. Those people who work on, on these pillars and make them strong, they really become successful in their uh, career. And those people who do not care about them or do not work on developing them and building these pillars, they fall behind and that's the reason some companies keep really some people um, in, in hard times and turbulent times but let other people go because these people have really built these foundations, these pillars and that's how the, the company, the organization, their employer uh, trusts them and wants to keep them no matter what. first one is the clarity pillar. Now by now I think you know that I, I talk a lot about being clear and also having clarity. So the first pillar also in the career excellence is clarity. Uh, my question to you is this, how clear are you uh, on what you truly want in your career? Ask yourself uh, why you started this career in the first place. Was it just because there was nothing else or was it because someone else asked you to or no? Really you want it. And remember when you, when you got your first job you were so excited, motivated, but then what happened after a year, two, three? What really happened? So are you really clear about your, what you want in this career? Uh, what did you want when you started this career or you, you got the first job? Now, uh, what do you want next? Right? So you need to be very clear about what you want out of your career. If you cannot clearly define the chances of uh, thriving in your job uh, and career are really low. Those who are highly successful in their career, uh, they, they, they are very clear on their objectives and their moves. They know that um, they, where, what is the next move that they want to have, uh, what's next for them. They're really clear, they define it, they write it down and that's how they, they can achieve um, the next level of uh, success in their career and they can uh, achieve excellence in their career. Now let's talk about the second pillar of career excellence. The second pillar is confidence. Again, 
you've heard a lot from me about confidence and why it is critical for our success. Now, how confident are you in your career, in what you are doing, in your capabilities? How confident are you in achieving your career goals? How confident are you in taking new roles? We know that when we, uh, after, after some time, when we start our job, we get used to it and we really go up this S curve and we get confident about that. But if you really want to grow, if you want to go to the next level in your career, if you, if you want to become more visible, take new roles, you have to expand your comfort zone in your career. You have to be open to new goals and objectives and new roles. And I've seen um, this firsthand. Um, some people uh, quickly accept uh, uh, the, uh, another opportunity, whether it's in another country or it's a new role that they haven't experienced, but they know that if they want to stay in this company and grow, they have to accept it they, and they, they have the confidence that they can do it. So they quickly say yes and they have the confidence to accept it. But on the other hand, there are others that hesitate and when new opportunities come and that's really sometimes really aligned with their objectives. Um, but then they hesitate. They say, I don't know because I haven't had experience. I don't know if I can do it. I may fail. So they don't really have confidence and they bring doubt and they bring fear into the equation that may prevent their employer from giving them that opportunity. So they go to someone else. So you need to have enough confidence that you can achieve the next level of success and you have to take new roles. And uh, some people say, um, I have been laid off and now I want to get a new job. Uh, why can't I? And my main answer is that you do not have confidence. And also you, you're not really clear about what you want. So you lack these two pillars. Maybe you had the clarity and confidence in your previous organization, but now in this new uh, organization, with this new employer, or with, with whoever you are approaching for the job, you don't, you're not clear. You just want to get a job for the sake of having a job. You are not clear about what you want. You're not clear about your aspirations, uh, the next level. Don't just stick to the level you were at. Um, challenge yourself and ask for something better, for something more exciting, something more challenging, and have the confidence to defend it. And in, in the interview, bring examples that show your confidence. And that's how you you can get that uh, job, um, no matter if you have experience, have had experience in it or not. Because uh, if some, if it's something new, uh, if if you have showed uh, enough track record of uh, the things that you have done in your previous job that supports this new role, you're going to get that. But you have to have enough confidence, and you have to convey that confidence to whoever is hiring you or to your current manager or to the next manager that you can do this and that's how you get the job. For instance, recently I changed my uh, position. Um, for the last 15 years I've been uh, an expert in the flow assurance, making sure that the, the fluid flows, the oil flows, and the, the organic deposits don't deposit and these sort of things in, in flow line. But then I said, that's enough. Now I really need to do something new. So I zoomed out and searched for new opportunities. And I found an opportunity that uh, didn't have anything to do with my, my past experience as a technical expert, but I could really use a lot of the skills that I have developed over years um, on the partnership side, stakeholder engagement, building relationships 
to bring that into this new role. So I had enough confidence, I con and, and conveyed that through the interview and I got the job. Um, and that's how you, you, you will do that as long as you develop the confidence that you can do it and even if you don't have the right tools and resources now you can, you can equip yourself with those you can boost your competency and that's how things will happen okay before talking about the third pillar of career excellence I appreciate if you click on the subscribe button so you subscribe to the channel and also if you hit the, the like button as well as share with others so that this video can reach to others to your connections and they can benefit I really appreciate that also if you have any comments any questions please uh, post them in the comment box I will personally respond the third pillar which is a really a great pillar it's it's something that uh, I had not thought about that before um, but when I thought okay uh, what this third pillar could be that could complement the other two but also can reflect different type of behaviors that make someone very likable and I call this third pillar of career excellence the charisma uh, pillar charisma so how charismatic are you in your job in your workplace in your team or in your organization charisma is something that many people believe that um, we are born with but that's not really the case charisma can be can be developed can be further developed um, so um, what is charisma it's a collection of uh, traits and behaviors that make you um, appeal to other people um, a person who is charismatic is normally uh, is approached by people people like them uh, and people follow them uh, people want to be part of his or her team uh, because this person is trustworthy uh, their behavior their attitude is positive and people want to talk to them they communicate clearly they lead very authentically uh, and that's how people follow and that's why this pillar to me is is a really central pillar because it has uh, the behaviors the attitude the leadership side the communication side it has things in it and it makes someone magnetic it, it makes them like a magical person in people's mind uh, i'm sure you have seen this sort of people the ones that are leaders and you really adore them just because who they are because of who they are and you follow them because of their authenticity because of the characters that they have uh, and now if this person who is charismatic if this person is also very clear on the goals that they have on the vision that they have and also they are very confident then makes them a very magical person makes them a very successful person and they can really go to the top of the organization so those people who go up the ladder it's not that they just go by chance they work on themselves to find out how they can move upward and they develop those skills that they need to develop in order to make these pillars stronger they become more confident with through experience through trying new things uh, by challenging their self, themselves uh, by uh, connecting with others they uh, define clearly what they want in their career and then they work on their charisma they they work on their behavior they they do their best to become likable to become trustworthy to become a leader in people's eyes and that's how they move upward and they bring others with, with themselves up as well okay so these are the three pillars uh, to recap this whole video the first pillar was what the clarity pillar the second pillar is confidence pillar 
And the third pillar for career excellence is charisma pillar. Charismatic effect that you can have and develop and become better at. Okay, so go out there and develop these pillars, build them, uh, and you will see how successful or how more successful you will become and achieve career excellence whether it's in an organization and you have a job there or whether it's in your business as your career um, work on this and i assure you that you will be more successful until next time live the life of your dreams and make a difference consistently and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so uh, like this video share it with others and also leave a comment so i know whether this one has been successful uh, if if you have seen these traits and these pillars in your in your job and whether they have helped you or not thanks again and have a great day